is to show you how to create, um, how to send node out data from Max to Ableton. Uh, so open up Max and open up Ableton. We're going to use this node out object. Check out the help file if you haven't used this object before. Um, we're going to use it with make note just to make this handling of MIDI data a little easier. And so we're going to use a make note and give it default parameters of velocity and duration. So uh, duration is in milliseconds and velocity is 0 to 127. We use a case slider more as a visual aid. And we're just going to generate some random quotes. Let's do one every half a second. So I'm connecting up my pitch and my velocity into make note, which is going to handle note on and note out off data. Send that to my note out object, uh, which will manage sending the data out of max to somewhere else. Uh, so if I double click on this, I can see what my options are. If you don't see um, some of these, you might need to install loop MIDI if you're working on a Windows machine. Uh, I'm going to use from max one. Um, and every time I would open this patch afterwards, I would have to set that. So to save me from doing that, I'm going to use a load mess object and put in from max one. So that means that will automatically uh, do this for me. So if I put this to none and then I double click on load mess, you can see it's changed from, from max one now. Uh, I'm going to need to give this node out a channel number. I'm going to give it channel one. Uh, okay, let's see if this is working. Generating some notes. Um, always good when you're debugging just to put in some number boxes in places to make sure that things are doing what you expect. Um, okay. Right, so this is going out of channel one. Um, over on from max one. So if I go into Ableton now, I would first need to check that my preference are set up. So when I go to MIDI that I have from max one is turned on. Um, so that way it, it's allowed to receive that data from there. Uh, so you can see I've got data coming in here. Um, you can also see MIDI data coming in here. That's what this little icon, this little flashing light is telling me. So I'm going to pick from max one and channel one. Um, going to turn it down because I don't actually want to hear it. Uh, but you can just see that I'm getting MIDI data into this. So if then I thought, OK, well, I want multiple channels. So for example, let's say whatever note is coming in there. Well, let's just do an octave above that. Um, this is really for a visual aid just to set this up. So I'm not going to copy and paste it because it'll make my patch really big. Um, but I will use this just to see what's going on. Um, I've already got a default velocity value, but of course you could generate velocity values as well. So now I'm going to change this to node out two. I'm going to remove this so I don't need to duplicate that. And just maybe try and line that up a little bit better. Um, I would have to double click on this to get this to work again. So from max one. So now that should be coming in on channel two. I can see information coming in on channel two. Um, okay, good. Information coming in channel one, channel two. So what you'll find though in Ableton is that it's only going to play incoming data from the track that's armed. So in order to arm both of these simultaneously, you just hold down command. Uh, and click on the record symbol there. So now both of these are receiving MIDI data. Let's double check that that's doing what I expect it to do. Okay, I should have picked, <laughs> I should have thought about the instruments I was picking. Never mind. Um, it's working. Okay, so um, 
Okay, so from here then, this is just how to get this set up and that should do what you want to do. If you want to start kind of shaping this a little bit more, then you probably want to do more things than just generate random numbers and more things than just um, trigger a note every half a second. So that's where you might want to jump to next.